Hey, 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 friend. Welcome back. Side Hustle Growth Podcast. And today we are talking about networking, but not just any old networking, strategic networking to grow your side hustle. I also would like to touch on why this fall, this time of year, is a really good time for networking and growing your side hustle, especially with the new year or just around the corner. The thing about networking, especially when you are just starting out, it is a beautiful, beautiful way to really get some exposure for your business. You don't know who you are going to connect with. And like I always stress, you shouldn't be going this alone. So getting, you know, connecting with the right people, people that you can help, people who can help you. You don't know who they're connected with, who they know, who can, who they can put you onto, or could put your business onto someone else, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And so today I want to talk about like why it's important to network for your business, but not just annual networking where you just show up somewhere and you're just handing out business cards. It's really about genuine relationships, authentic connections that would really propel your business forward. If you know, especially as a side hustle woman, You might struggle with finding the right event to attend for a few reasons. Either they're happening while you're at work and you got to take the day off. It becomes a whole thing. Or they might be in the evenings or they might be on the weekends. But there's so many networking events to attend. There's so many options out there for women, women entrepreneurs, women in business. We're going to talk about all of that today and just really finding the right event and why you should be networking and what are you waiting for. So let me get right into it. I want to first talk about why networking in the fall, especially this time of year, is really actually quite crucial. It's prime time for networking because the summer's over and people are back into the swing of things. They're gearing up for that like end of year rush. And this is when the energy shifts. This is when everyone is looking to connect and to collaborate because again, they're thinking about end of year, but then also into the new year, people will be thinking about their new year goals. What do I want to do for 2025 and beyond? So whether it's online, it's local meetups, it's industry conferences, you're finding events specifically specific for your industry. You want to leverage your network so you can pick up some steam. And here's the thing, networking isn't just about showing up. It is not about showing up. I have talked about networking before. I will absolutely talk about it again, but it's about being intentional with your time. You already don't have that much time. You have a full-time job. You have all this other stuff going on. So being be, being really, really intentional with your time and your connections. It's not just about collecting names. We can all do that. It's not just about collecting names. You are building relationships that matter. And the way you do that will either make or break your ability to grow your side hustle. So yes, you want to attend the events because obviously you want to grow your side hustle, but don't just attend any random event just because like, oh, this is an event for women in business, but is it really aligned with what you're looking for? And then when you do attend the event, are you showing up there? Are you being intentional with where you show up, how you show up? who you're going to connect with, how you're going to connect with them, how you're going to follow up with them. Now, the next thing I want to talk about is attending industry events and meetups. Events. Whether they're online, they're in person, there's a rise, especially since that year we won't mention, but there has been a rise in a virtual conferences, a lot of virtual events. So if time is of the essence for you, you can't make it out to an in-person event or as many in-person events as you would like to, there's always something online that you can do. And the barriers to networking have been drastically lowered because of the amount of uh, virtual events that have been uh, that are being offered now. You can connect with people from all over the world. Isn't that the most beautiful thing? You can connect with people all over the world without even leaving the comfort of your home. How amazing is that? But let's not forget the power of in-person networking. So if there's a local event or a conference in your industry this fall, like I'll highly recommend you make it a priority. Do your research on the events. But also, first of all, 
think about how much time you can realistically commit to attending an event, especially when it's in person. How much time can you put aside? Because if it's in person, you also have to think about the commute, getting there and getting back and how long the event will be, how long do you plan to stay there? There's something really special though about face-to-face connections. I remember pre pandemic I used to be at the events. I loved attending in-person events and being able to make those authentic connections. I am one of those people I need. I am a very energetic person. So I really feed off a person's energy. And there's really something you can pick up from the person being right in front of you that it's, it's just you can't quite get online as much as I love online. Hello, introvert. But when you attend these events, go with a game plan. Know who's going to be there and think about who you really want to connect with. It's not, again, I cannot stress this enough. It is not about quantity. It is all about quality. So even if you end up as an event with a couple hundred people and you only meet three, as long as those are three authentic connections that you're really excited about, you're both, both parties are really excited about meeting that this new person and how can I serve you? What do you do? Who needs you? I need you. I know someone that needs you. Do you know someone that needs my service? And having those, uh, those really beautiful connections and conversations that can flow from being able to meet with them in person because you're not trying to talk to everyone. You're really not trying to talk to everyone. And the more of these events that you do, the easier it does become to navigate the sea when it comes to networking. You'll also realize that there are some events that just don't align. There are some events that you will attend and you'll be like, "Mm, yeah, that wasn't for me. Even just recently, I was asking a friend, she attended an event and she was super excited about it, trying to figure out what to wear. And then when I asked her about it the next day, I said, how did it go? And she's like, yeah, it wasn't really the room I wanted to be in, but she was really happy that she did attend because she is just starting out in her business. She's trying to, of course, build authentic connections, get her name out there, just putting herself out there. But make sure the conversations that you have are meaningful conversations. And you know what? Don't be be okay with like walking away from someone. But okay, well, you know, it was wonderful meeting you. I'm going to move on now and and connect with more people. If you realize you're not going to have the authentic connection with the person that's right in front of you. But when somebody is right in front of you, be curious. Ask them about themselves. Just, just don't just say, what do you do? And I say, tell me, like, what do you enjoy the most? Tell me about, like, why did you start this business? Like, what are you looking to get out of, of today's event? Have a few questions ready to ask them. Have a few things about yourself that you would love to share. You're comfortable sharing. Stay curious. Wear something that makes you stand out. So it can be a bit of an icebreaker. For me, it was purple lipstick. And that absolutely became a part of my brand. But just as long as you remember to listen, stay curious and listen. People will actually remember you more when you show interest in them. And if you know, I've done an episode on this, just showing up, putting yourself out there as an introvert. You don't want to do all the talking and talk about yourself. Get them talking, ask them a few questions, get them to share about themselves. They'll get curious about you. If they're the right connection, they'll get curious about you. And before you know it, You've built another connection. I want to go on to, we've touched on it already. So this is the third part. We talked about why it's important. We've talked about like attending industry events, in-person events, looking for events that align with, with what you're interested in, what you're doing, what you'd like to, the field you'd like to get into, the industry you'd like to get into. But let's talk about leveraging your online networks, because this is something you can do from the comfort of your couch. You can be in your pajamas, <laughs> right? If you want to, there's no judgment. I ain't judging nobody. Okay. If you want to show up in your pajamas and keep your camera off, then by all means, I mean, I would say show up with your camera on because you still, you want people to see your face and kind of put a face to the name that they're seeing on the screen. With time, as you get more comfortable, you'd be more willing, you'll show up and you'll be more intentional. 
But platforms, there's so many platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, even Facebook groups that can actually be gold mines for making connections that can lead to collaborations. Oh, the beauty in collaborating with someone else, be it someone in your industry or just somebody you have an authentic connection with. There's so much opportunity for growth there, but here is the catch. You have to be active. It's not just enough to scroll through your feed and like a post here or there. Engage with people. Comment on their posts with genuine insights. Share their content if it resonates with you. And don't be afraid to slide in someone's DMs respectfully, of course, and start that conversation. Take it from their page into the DMs. Hey, I really like that post you just shared about blah, 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 talking about so-and-so. I'd love for us to continue the conversation. What do you think about, you know, a Zoom call? And just taking it from there. But if you are thinking, but CJ, I don't even know like what to say. Start with complimenting their work. You are following them or their stuff is showing up on your feed. You're taking an interest in it. Boom. There you go. Say, hey, you want want to continue the conversation? You're not trying to sell them anything. You're just trying to start a dialogue because you're building authentic connections. And from from there, who knows where it could lead? The other thing, the main thing is about building meaningful relationships. This is the core of effective networking. It's not about how many people you know, but how well you know them, how willing you are to stay connected with them, to collaborate with them, to share their information, to pass their information on to someone else. Take the time to nurture those connections. The ones that are meaningful will be very, very easy to nurture them. You follow up with people to continue the conversation. Send them a quick message. Hey, it was so great to meet you. When you find them, you attend You attend the same events. You find them on LinkedIn. You find them on Instagram, Facebook, whatever platform you're on, TikTok, whatever platform you're on. Send them a message and say, it was so great to meet you at so-and-so. I hope we can connect again soon. What do you think about blah, blah, blah? You like their posts, you comment, you engage. I do it all the time. It becomes so easy with all of the right people. But just remember that the best relationships are mutually beneficial. So think about how you can add value to someone else's business or life. Just as much as you are showing up to grow your business, to get your name out there, how can you help someone else out? What can you offer? Who do you know? that you can connect them with. You can be a resource. It can be another connection, a word of encouragement, liking a post, sharing a post. People are more likely to return the favor. Authentic, meaningful connections. That's where it's at when it comes to networking, strategic networking. I know I mentioned at the very beginning though, that there might be a challenge with finding the events, finding the the time to attend the events. And I have done enough research and that's why I created the Side Hustler Club. These This club is specifically solely for side hustle women, women with a full-time job and they also have a side hustle. So they might not have time to attend the events because they're at work during the day. They don't want to take the time off. They're saving their days for for that long-awaited vacation. Or they might take the time off to attend these events and the events are for women entrepreneurs, like full-time entrepreneurs, and they're not quite there yet They're aspiring to be a full-time entrepreneur. So even when they do make the connections, they're connecting with people that may be a few steps ahead of them, which would be great mentors, great to have in their network. But I did create the Side Hustle Her Club as a community. You feel like you're surrounded by like-minded women and you can build those authentic relationships. What I'm hearing the members already saying is they feel less alone because 
in their immediate circle, typically there isn't um, anyone else who is a side hustler or even a full-time entrepreneur. So this is what the Side Hustler Club is about. We have a private group chat. We do monthly virtual meetups. They'll quarterly socials where you can meet in person. If you're in the city, we can meet in person. There's an opportunity for private coaching and group coaching, all of that geared towards side hustle women, women who want to share their knowledge, who want to be able to support you, who want to be able to show up and be the expert in the room and really supporting each other on your journey. Even if you can't figure out your next business business move, you check out sidehustlerclub.com and, or you can reach out to me, a 15 minute vibe check. Ask me any questions you want to know about the Side Hustler Club. It really is about you. It is not just another group program. It's a community. It's a movement. It's really providing all the tools, all the resources for nine to five women with a side hustle looking for all of the right support so that they can continue to thrive and they can build that thriving side hustle and turn it into that full-time business if that is your long-term goal. I'm going to start wrapping it up here. I want to again stress, don't feel like you've got to do this alone. Yes, your side hustle is your baby or yes, your this is your goal or this is your idea. But if you're realizing you can't move forward, there is always a place or a space where the right people will have the the right things to say, the right resources, the right tools, the right connections. If you're in the right room, you just have to be able to be willing to be intentional and put yourself out there, my girl. If it's a business where you're going to be collecting people's money, you're going to have to put yourself out there anyway. If you're shy, if you're introverted, I totally get it. But you know what? Even as an introvert, I went to those events by myself because I said, this is how I'm going to make those connections because now I'm really putting myself out there. And through that discomfort of being in a room where I didn't know anyone else, I did build very authentic connections. But if you want to start with a side hustle her club, reach out to me, book that 15 minute vibe check. Let's talk Let's grow your business. Let's connect you with the right people that can help you and you can help them so that you can finish off this year strong and start the new year even stronger. Thank you so much for being here with me today, my friend, and hanging out with me. I appreciate you and I will see you at the next episode. Bye.